Hey guys, CJ here. Let's get super real. Let's talk about the most wonderful time of the year. Super great, all this exchange of energy and gifts and tons of, you know, Christmas music, everything's going on, there's parties to attend and people to see and da 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 da, and then all your regular responsibilities and more. Okay, so it sounds like a lot but you can handle it. There is a reason why there's joy everywhere. You walk into a store, you see a sign that says joy. You see ornaments that say joy and decorations that say joy. So how can you cultivate this joy within all the chaos? I have the answer. Well, maybe not the absolute answer because honestly, day to day, it's super hard. Like detouring into fear is the default and it's super easy to just you know oh my gosh what's going on i have so much to do but i'm challenging myself and you to try and elicit the relaxation response which is a beautiful book by herbert benson and it has helped millions of people calm themselves during super stressful times and it's really great because in just five minutes, you can transfer yourself out of that sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight mode into a resting and relaxation state in just four steps. And they are as follows. Step one, find a quiet environment. So no matter where you need to go, some of my students tell me like, oh, I just needed a timeout, so I created a meditation space in my closet, or I just run down and sit in my car for a moment. And I'm like, good for you, that's awesome. Find that space however you can do it. That quiet space, that's the first thing. The second thing is having something to focus on. So creating a focal awareness point. So maybe you have a candle that you can look at, an object to dwell on. Personally, Focusing on just an object is a little bit tricky for me because my mind is like, woo, like we got lots of things to do. So to pull it back and create more of a rhythm with my breath, personally, I really love counting the breath. Right now, that's my favorite meditation, is the inhaling in my mind. I state one, exhale two, inhale three, exhale four. I'm even getting calm just doing it right now. Going all the way up to 10. Once you reach 10, you start again with one. Inhaling one, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale four. All the way up to 10, continuing that, focusing on your breath. So if you can focus on a candle or something else in the space that's really beautiful, maybe you have a really gorgeous figurine that you wanna focus on, totally use that as your awareness point whatever works for you make it your own because that's what will make it a sustainable practice the third thing is a passive attitude so within our society we create all of this judgment and all of these things that we have to get done and um, push to get this push to get that when i have this i'll be happy so it, don't make this like that because it's not like that at all. Don't make this a, oh, if I can't quiet my mind, I'm not doing it right because that's not true. If you have a really active meditation, it's super healing. So having that passive attitude of not being worried about if you're doing it right because there's no such thing. So, you know, letting go and allow just be with yourself. And the fourth thing is finding a comfortable position. So a seated position is ideal because you can root down through your sitting bones and grow up through the crown of your head. You'll keep your shoulders relaxed down your back and there's this slight tuck of the chin. Um, if a seated position like that doesn't work for you, you can always sit on something to elevate your hip bones. You can sit in a chair. I really love advocating for seating because if you lay down, there's a chance that you can get really relaxed and fall asleep. And the whole point of the meditation is to go into this almost hibernation-like mode 
and I actually explain a lot more about the processes that happen physiologically within the body during meditation and why sitting up is the best way. But if you are using the relaxation response to try and calm yourself before you go to bed, by all means, find that comfortable laying down position, almost like a Shavasana or a corpse pose. If you're interested in learning more about the relaxation response in this beautiful book by Herbert Benson, you can go ahead and check out the link below to my blog post. You'll learn all about what happens within the body and why we try and elicit this fight or, fight, fight or flight response. That when we were fighting for our lives and trying to protect our families and hunting for food, why that's still with us and how we can't change the way that our society is, but we can change the way that we react to the things that go on in our world. With so much light, love, and joy, happy holidays. Namaste. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you liked this video, please tap like and subscribe. Also, visit my website for more on joy, yoga, meditation, and life.